Hello and welcome to the Gallet Knitting Circle. My name is Jana and I'm coming to you from the north of Germany. And um, today I have a bit of a different video for you, which is supposed to be a kind of make along, if you will. Um, yeah, which is going to be a bit of an Easter inspired video. Um, in the last podcast episode, I showed you that I made this little bunny, which is Henry's Bunny by Sarah Elizabeth Kellner. And um, I thought today we could maybe just make this little bunny all together. It's it's quite nice for for one evening project and doesn't take too long and yeah I thought I can show you how I make my bunny um, even though I also I, I just do the techniques how I how I tried them out and just how I always do them without saying that this is the one technique that you should use and um, yeah rather than this being a tutorial I thought it would be nice to have a project that we knit together um, and yeah just have a little make along together. So the pattern is knit in a worsted weight yarn um, I'm using this alpaca blend, which I don't have the tag anymore. Um, it's just some leftover I had in my stash. And um, the pattern recommends 3.5 millimeter needles. I'm using 3.75, um, just because um, I didn't have the 3.5 millimeter needles. Um, and then I also need a, um, a darning needle to sew in the ends and some stuffing so that can be like cotton or I'm using these I have this bag where I put all the um, all the ends that I weave in on my knitting projects so this is what I'm going to use as the stuffing um, so yeah, that's just a good way to recycle all these ends. And yeah, so then we just start. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast on 24 stitches on three double pointed needles. So for that, I'm just using the, the long tail cast on. That's just my normal go to cast on method. But in the pattern it doesn't it doesn't say which one you should use so I guess it doesn't really matter. So what I'm doing here is just I have the yarn over my thumb and my um, first finger and then I insert the needle through here, pick up the yarn from there and pull it through this loop. That's how I do it. And then so I put eight stitches on each needle. And then, um, well, for the first round, it just says knit all stitches. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to knit all stitches. And then in the previous um, tutorial, you've seen the way I do my knit stitches. Um, 
which is just the yeah continental knit stitch. And now I'm gonna knit 12 stitches. And then I make one stitch, um, which I do this way. I lift here the, the right leg of the stitch below, insert my needle and treat it as a normal stitch, like this. And then just knit the other stitch normally, knit one and then make another stitch which I'm just going to do the same way and then I'm not going to knit 11 stitches and then in the next round I'm just going to knit all stitches And then there's going to be the next increase round, which is knit 13 stitches. And then make one. knit one, make one, and then knit 12 stitches. So the idea is that there's going to be this line of increases going along the back of the rabbit. Um, yeah, I mentioned in my podcast before that I actually did it wrong on this rabbit because it's here on the side rather than on the middle of the back because I, I didn't really read the um, pattern well enough so let's hope this time we're going to do it right so the next row is again just a normal knit round And then the next increase round, which is knit 14. Make one. Knit one, make one, and knit 13. And then knit one round. And 
and then we're going to knit 15 Make one, knit one, make one, and knit 14. And then follows another knit round. And then the last increase round for this part, which is knit 16. Make one, knit one, make one, and knit 15. So now it should be 34 stitches. And after this, we're going to knit six rounds, just plain stocking it. Okay, so now is when the decrease rounds start, which are going to go down here until the tail. Um, so we're going to knit two stitches and then knit three and knit two together. 
And this we're going to repeat until there's only two stitches left. And then we need two. And the following round is a knit round again. And in the following decrease round, we are going to knit two and then knit two and knit two together. And this we are going to repeat now until two stitches remain. So here if I have only then one stitch left on the needle but need to do knit two together, I just transfer it to the next needle. So I can knit these two together. And then after the last knit two together we're going to knit two stitches. And do another knit round. In the following round we're going to knit two stitches again and then knit one and knit two together and this is what we're going to repeat. The last two stitches we just knit and then do a whole round of knit stitches. Next we are going to knit two stitches and knit two together. And then only repeat this knit two together throughout the round until two stitches remain. And then knit two stitches. And then knit all stitches of the following round. And the next decrease round is just knit two together throughout the whole round.
So this is the part where it gets a bit more fiddly. Afterwards we knit one round. together knit one and knit two together and knit another plain round afterwards and this is what's going to create this little tail And then we cut the yarn and pull it through all the stitches. And then I'm going to insert this end to the darning needle and I'm going to sew this end in. just pull it into the inside and that's where I leave this so this is what the body looks like now this is what's going to form the body And now we go on to the head. Um, this is what's gonna come over here. And um, for this we're going to pick up the stitches. What I was first, just make a knot here to attach my working yarn. I mean, there's probably also better ways to do these kind of techniques, but this is just how I do them. And then I'm going to pick up and knit 24 stitches in all the stitches that we cast on in the very beginning. like this and then from here I will work the short rows to do the head shaping so first I knit all stitches Thank you. 
and then I knit seven stitches. And then wrap and turn. I'm using the German short row method, which is pulling the yarn up and then picking up these two strands. And yeah, this is what's going to prevent me from having the hole in here where I turned the work. Now I purl 14 And then we're going to wrap and turn. And knit seven stitches. We need six stitches. Wrap and turn. And per twelve stitches. Then we wrap and turn. And knit six stitches. Knit five stitches. and wrap and turn. And now we pull 10 stitches. Wrap and turn. Knit five stitches. Knit four stitches. and wrap and turn. Then we are purling eight stitches.
wrap and turn and knit four stitches knit three stitches wrap and turn and purl six stitches wrap and turn knit three knit two wrap and turn four wrap and turn knit two knit one wrap and turn pull two stitches Wrap and turn and knit one. So now you see all these wrapped stitches that we created. So in the next round it says knit all stitches. So this is when we are going to knit always the stitch with its wrap together. So this is now what created this lower part of the head and now there's going to be another set of short rows that will form the top of the head which is here. So for this we're going to knit one and knit two together. knit three and wrap and turn pull six Pull two together, pull three, and 
and wrap and turn now we knit five knit one knit two together knit one and wrap and turn now we purl four Pull two together, and pull one, and then wrap and turn, and knit three. Knit one, knit two together, knit two, wrap and turn. Pull five. Pull two together. So this is where it gets a bit difficult for me at least. Because now you have to integrate those wrapped stitches and then we pull two and wrap and turn. Knit four, knit one, knit two together, knit two. And wrap and turn. Pull five. Pull two together. Pull two, and wrap and turn. And then I knit four, knit one. Knit two together, wrap and turn, pull 
two, three. Then pull two together. Wrap and turn. And knit two. So that was this set of short rows. Now there should be 14 stitches. And we're going to knit one round. And again integrating the wrapped stitches. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to knit the ears and um, so we're going to divide those stitches for one ear each. So we're going to, well I will put seven stitches here on hold. I just leave them on one needle. And I take another needle so I will now work the first ear with these seven stitches so I work I knit seven stitches And then here I will cast on five new stitches. This I'm going to do just like this, holding a yarn and then inserting the needle under this yarn, pick up this and wrap it around the needle. So these are now the stitches for the first ear and I'm going to knit all these for five rounds. And then the decrease starts. So we're going to knit two. Knit two together. And repeat this to the end of the round. And then one knit round. And 
and then we knit one and knit two together knit three knit two together and knit one and now we just knit two plain stocky knit rounds So this was already the first ear. Now we cut the yarn and pull it through all these stitches. Then I take my darning needle again and sew in this end. So now we do basically the same for the second ear. We have our seven stitches here and then we attach the working yarn. And knit seven. Cast on five. And then I weave in this end. And pull it through in the inside of the ear. So now we have most of the rabbit done. What we're going to do now into this hole is we're going to stuff the bunny. So I will use all these scraps of yarn So 
so here it's good to find a nice balance so that you really stuff all the corners of the rabbit but at the same time don't overstuff it so I think I'll leave it like this and then with a piece of yarn and the darning needle I will close this hole And then what I do to give the ears a bit more of shape, I will fold them in like this and then also sew them down with a few stitches. And then I will secure this thread and just pull it into the inside of the bunny. What's still missing is the legs, which we're going to do separately and then sew them to the body. So we cast on six stitches. And then just knit um, in stockinette stitch just for a while. In the patterns it says one and a half inches. So I'm just going to knit for a few rounds. So now I've knitted 12 rounds in plain stockinette 
for the second leg and I'm going to close this end of the tube now And then I pull it into the inside. And use this end as a bit of stuffing. For this leg. And then I cut my working yarn. and pull it through the remaining stitches. And with this thread I'm also going to attach the second leg to the body. I pull it through and then it's only the face that is still missing so I take another bit of scrap yarn in a darker color and then I embroider the face with the nose and the ears, eyes So first the nose I just do a few stitches Also this I just put through. And here we have the finished bunny. So as you can see it looks very different than this one. Which is because I use a very different yarn. 
Um, so this is a lot more soft, it's much softer and um, not so sturdy. It's also an unspun yarn, that's why it's very squishy and yeah, not so strong compared to this one, which is a which is the Peruvian Highland wool, and it's yeah, it's a lot um, stronger and has more twist in the spinning and. Um, that's just why they both look very different. But I think that's the nice thing about this pattern. You can just use any yarn really and then just adjust your needle size to the yarn you're using and then you get different bunnies and different sizes and different versions. So I hope you enjoyed this episode all about the Easter bunnies and I hope you managed to make a bunny too that maybe looks like this one, maybe not and um, yeah I would really like to know if you enjoyed this episode maybe you can leave a comment and tell me about your Easter bunny that you made and otherwise we will see each other soon in the next podcast episode and until that keep knitting and take care bye